they come to the Son of God, go ahead and magnify the name of the Lord. Let's worship him. Let's magnify his name. Lift up your voice. Let's celebrate him. Lift up your voice. Let's magnify him. Lege dola brantala baka shele baba zeteria. Manzoto le grede le bashata. Is somebody worshiping him tonight? Is somebody blessing his name? Let's honor him, the El and young God. Let's give him praise to God that has never lost any battle. Oh, victory, victory, victory all around. Father, we worship you. El Shaddai, we bless you. El Gibor, we worship you. Adonai, we lift you up on high. Our Father, our King, our God, we bless your name. Leke Tomangele, Brotolomanga, Delibada, Rasa Tekele, Bodogoli, Baka Telebo, Zan Teriani, Raja Kaluman Sheteria, Leke Tolo Godila, Katole Labantoria, Rege Dele Mandele, Badaga, Leba, Kale, Badole, Bazante, Rado Bacantoria, Redele Boshanteria, Father, we worship you. We bless your holy name. We honor you. We give you praise. Heaven is your throne. The earth is your footstool. Thank you, Father, for being so mindful of us. Thank you for coming down in all of your power and glory. Thank you for coming to inhabit the praise of your people. Thank you for riding on the wings of our praise. We worship you most high. We adore you most high. We honor you, precious King. Thank you, Thank you for Jesus, our Redeemer. Thank you for the precious Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of God, we reverence you. Have your way in the service tonight. Move unhindered. Touch every life. Turn situations around. Let no one remain the same. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. In one minute, let's appreciate God for what he did yesterday. Let's thank God for the first day of Turnaround Conference 2022. Let's thank him for the for the reign of his word, the power of God, the presence of God, the move of God in our midst. Father, we thank you for everyone that you brought, those that connected from across the nation. We thank you. We honor you. We give you praise. And we are so thankful, Lord, for what you are set to do today. Let no one remain the same. Let no one go unattended to. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Can somebody rejoice in God's presence? Let's clap, let's rejoice, let's celebrate. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be comfortably seated in God's presence. Amen. Amen. You can just wave to somebody. Tell them God, God bless you. Good to see you tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to welcome everyone. We want to welcome all our Zoomites, everyone watching online, everyone in the house. Thank God for Sister Ruth. Thank God for Pastor Rosie's daughter, all the delegates from Pastor Rosie. Do we all remember Pastor Rosie Hyatt? Amen. This is our family right here. We are so glad to see you. It's been a minute. But I thank God that you all honor the invitation. The Lord bless you. Amen. Please tell Pastor Rosie, we love her so dearly. Amen. Thank you for coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I welcome every one of us to the second day of Turnaround Conference 2022. Amen. Hallelujah. This is our day of revival. Amen. God is going to revive us tonight Amen. in the name of Jesus. The Bible says to us in Hosea chapter 6 and verse 2, it said, and after two days will he revive us. After two days, God will revive us. Get ready to be revived in your mind, in your spirit, and in your soul. In the name of Jesus. To revive means to be, to be resuscitated. That means whatever is dying in your life, it could be your health, your relationship, your finances. It will receive new life and new energy. In the name of Jesus. It also means to restore. That means whatever the enemy has stolen from you or whatever you have lost, anything good that has been forcefully taken away from you, it shall be restored today. It shall be restored today. Your joy will be restored. Your peace will be restored. Your glory shall be restored. After two days will he revive us. 
God will revive this house. God will revive this assembly. God will revive everyone that is on this mountain and everyone that has connected in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to me, we are in a season of turnaround. This is our season of turnaround. This is our day. This is our moment. This is our time. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2. It said, I have heard thee in the time accepted. And in the day of salvation have I succored thee. And he said, behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now, today, today, not tomorrow. Today is that time. Today is the day you have been waiting for. I tell you, child of God, God will not delay your miracle. Amen. God will not delay your blessing. Amen. Whatever is your desire today, you will receive it Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. The same way God visited Sarah in Genesis 21 at the appointed time, at the set time, God showed up and turned her captivity around. Amen. Today, God will show up for you. Amen. God will send you help. God will send you help. God will strengthen you. God will wipe away that shame, that reproach from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Today is that day. Today is the set time. Today is the appointed time you have been waiting for. Help is coming your way. Relief is coming for you. Strength is coming for you. God will revive you and renew you in the precious name of Jesus. I want us to know that Turnaround Conference is a prophetic gathering. The Bible says God doesn't do anything without first revealing his counsel to his prophet. The Bible tells us in Amos chapter 3 and verse 7, it says, surely the Lord God, he will do nothing. That means he's kind of, I can't do it until I first reveal it to my servant, the prophet. That is why Turnaround Conference is a prophetic gathering where God comes to hold the hand of his servant. He puts his word in his mouth and he says, go and declare over my people. And as you declare it, I will back it up. And as you speak it, I will confirm it. As you declare it, I will confirm it. That is what Turnaround Conference is all about. And tonight you are in a prophetic gathering. You are in a prophetic pool. God is tearing this pool in your favor. Whatever it is that you desire, as the man of God begins to declare it, you will receive your healing. You will receive your miracle. You will receive your breakthrough. You will receive your next level in the name of the Lord Jesus. Because God always honors the word of his servant. God always honors it. God always honors his servant. I was telling Bishop on our way, I was praying. I said, Whenever God wants to save a generation, he will raise a prophet. Yeah. And whenever God wants to preserve life and destiny, he will give them a prophet. Yeah. And I was praying, I said, God, give the people a believing heart today. Yeah. Give the people a believing heart, a receiving heart, so that as the man of God begins to declare it, they will receive their miracle yeah. in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. I know when to shift from being a wife to someone that has access to this great man of God. When he's speaking some things into my life, I know when to change the hearts. I know when to play a wife and I know when to receive what he's declaring because my destiny is on the line. My destiny is as so tonight. Don't be too familiar. Don't be too familiar. Make sure you receive the word of God so that you can receive your miracle and your blessing in the name of Jesus. The Bible says by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt by the prophet. By the prophet. And the Bible says, by the prophet, he preserved them. Amen. He preserved their destiny. Amen. He preserved them. So now somebody is coming out of captivity. Amen. Somebody is coming out of captivity. Amen. Somebody is coming out of entrapment of the enemy. Amen. It could be a wrong relationship. It could be the entanglement of sin, of Satan. A gang of a conspiracy. You are coming out tonight. Amen. You are coming out tonight. Amen. And your glorious destiny will emerge Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Thank you, Father. In Numbers 22, because the people know so, so some people, I won't say uh, many people, some people know about the ministry of the prophets. Mm -hmm. In Numbers 22, a king named Balak, he said to go call Balak. He said, come and curse me this people. Mm -hmm. They are threatening me. They are terrorizing me. Mm -hmm. Their presence is like they are do doing too much. Child of God, don't be scared of those that are threatened by your, by your presence, by your achievement. Because they haven't seen anything yet. Amen. After this turnaround, 
whatever was your maximum before you came becomes your stepping stone. Amen. Because from now you are going upward. Amen. You are going forward. Amen. It will be progress for you continually Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They will begin to promote you with accelerated speed Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That is what will happen after this turnaround Amen. in the name of Jesus. So Balak said, Balak, come and curse these people of God. And Balak said, I cannot curse those that God has blessed. Yes. Why did he send for Balak? The Bible says in Numbers 22 and 6, it said, For I would that whom thou blessed is blessed, and he whom thou cursed is cursed. It said, I know that whatever you declare is always being confirmed. Whatever you declare, it was said concerning Samuel also that his word never falls to the ground. Amen. God always honors the word of his servant. Amen. He performs the counsel of his messenger. Amen. That is what God has sent me to tell us tonight. Amen. Don't take this meeting lightly. Open your heart. Let your ear gate be open. Amen. Let your heart gate be open. Amen. Let your spirit man be connected, be in tune. Amen. Believe this man of God today. Amen. Believe him as the prophet that God has sent to your life Amen. for your lifting, for for your liberation, Amen. for your establishment and for your blessing Amen. in the name of Jesus. And as he declares it tonight, God will confirm it. Amen. As he declares it over you, God will confirm it Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. After this turnaround, your testimonies will resound. Amen. Your testimonies will resound. Amen. I can't hear your believing. Amen. Amen. Your testimonies will be shared across the nations Amen. of the world in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bishop was in the meeting some time ago. And he began to prophesy. He said, I see weddings. I see weddings. In fact, it's going to be a quick one. And one sister out of the bunch, she believed the word of the man of God. And after that meeting, she went to get her wedding dress. She began to plan. And before you knew it, she was married in three months. In three months. And now everybody began to call the man of God. Please prophesy again. Now we have seen the manifestation. Please prophesy again. He prophesied who didn't take it seriously. No. But somebody that believed the man of God immediately began to plan. And when the brother came, he said, I don't have time to waste. I just want to marry you now. Within three months, they were married. And they are still married today. Amen. So tonight, I want you to receive every word with all seriousness. Amen. Receive it as your own word. Amen. Listen to me. There are some things that... I don't even want to use myself as an example. Let me use other people as an example. Because there are so many words that he has spoken into my life that I am literally living on the word yeah. that he spoke to me. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm literally living on the word that he spoke into my life. Yeah. And, and he continues to speak into my life continually. Yeah. So tonight, I want you to receive this man of God. There was a woman, in fact, she was, she was 50 and she wasn't yet married. He said, I prophesy. By this same time next year, three men will come for you. And it happened within the space of six months. Three people came. And she said, now I don't even know which one to choose. He said, now I can't help you. Now you need to go pray and choose the one that you want. And that was what happened. There was another lady also, she was, she was in, in her mid-50s. She was married, no child. And she came, man of God, speak over my life. You are my prophet. And he prayed. And the Lord answered her. And people gathered and said, this woman, she has never been pregnant before. But by the birth of the prophet, God turned her life around. Amen. So tonight, I have so many testimonies to share. But tonight, I just want to encourage you that receive this man of God. Receive the word that will be coming out of his mouth. And your life will not remain the same again Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us read Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. The message translation. Oh, thank you, Father. And then we are going to pray. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 9 and 10, the message translation. The Bible says, God reached out, touched the mouth of Bishop Olafe and said, Look, I have just put my words in your mouth. Hand delivered. See what I have done. I have given you a job to do among nations. Bishop Olafe, God has given you a job to do among nations. And governments, a red letter day. Your job is to pull down and to tear down and to take apart and to demolish and then start over building and painting. Building, building, building 
and plant it, building and plant it. As the man of God begins to declare tonight, there are some things that must fall. Yes. Every wall of Jericho around your destiny must fall. Yes. Every wall of limitation around your life must fall. Yes. Everything that has kept you tonight must fall yes. in the name of Jesus. Please stand on your feet with me tonight. Begin to declare, begin to pray. Father, Lord, put my own word in the mouth of your servant for me. My word of turn around, my word of change, my word of healing, my word of next level. Lord, put my own word in the mouth of your servant, oh God, for me. In the name of Jesus. Now begin to say, Lord, I believe your servant. I receive the ministry of the servant of God. I receive the ministry of the prophet that you have sent for me. Lord, I will not miss my moment. My change will come. My turnaround is today. My turnaround is today. My visitation is today. Leke toma kale manzozo lekete rege do la kale mazeye li kan toriyanda lege do baga lege do lo bose lan krelo ba shete lake tagale made leke lo mauze yele da la banderia reke to baka lege de gele gede rake to manchele bode leke to mangeleya. Father, we thank you for instant miracles tonight. Thank you for change and turn around. Thank you, Lord, for breakthroughs on every side. Father, no more will return the same. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Our faith is here. Our faith is here. Our expectation has been activated. Let our miracles be delivered. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord, we call it down in Jesus' mighty name. So tonight on 